Right, in this short video, we're going to be going over the braid cutters that we use when we're out there bass fishing. So let's get into it. These ones are the uh, the Ridge Monkey. These are my uh, main braid cutters for obviously cutting braid. Obviously, they've got no there's no tools on it like you know like the, the split ring things for for getting the trebles off. But these are these are probably got the, these are probably the best cutters out of the lot because they've got that serrated edge, which seems to chop chop through the braid. Look, let's have a little look at this. Look, you just have a look. See how easy that was. That was a piece of piss, to be honest. So that's one. That's the first one. Is that's the uh, the Ridge Monkey. I highly recommend them. And the good thing about these is that if you if they fall out your pocket when you're night fishing. They actually, the handles glow up, you know, the luminous, which is an added bonus as far as I'm concerned. Right, the next ones is this little, these little babies. They're, um, I don't know where I got these. I think these are Savage Gear, actually, these ones. And although it doesn't say, normally I would have thought with Savage Gear, it would say on them. Now these also, if you look at the, the, uh, the cutting the cutters on there they've got that serrated oh jesus christ that is sharp i'm telling you so they're pretty good they they cut the braid quite quite you know quite consistently you don't want to be mucking about when you're out there you just want to cut the line especially if you have to tie the knot do you know what i mean see that weren't actually actually that wasn't that brilliant that's, that's why i've got them other ones but yeah as you can see that it all depends on how you how you actually get it. that's quite a clean cut to be honest now obviously these um <clears throat> of the pliers like with the multi-tool uh you know thing on the end for getting like for get a lure nice little tackle house feed shallow there that's actually had a bit of batter in that one if you can see that's had a few fish on it that as i tell you this one actually glows in the dark so it's a good one. but these, these obviously these tools this bit at the end is for getting these um clips off which jesus christ can what a palaver that is to be honest these are really thick on here and all they're quite hard to do but um basically that's what uh these ones these are pretty good though they're um they're probably my they always come with me obviously i can hook them onto my things off my lure vest and that they're pretty good right so on to the next one right the next ones are these um aliexpress specials i mean these are real plier sort of types you know what i mean the difference between the cutters on these ones though is they're just like um like a guillotine sort of feather uh, just just there's a little block there and if you can see there's a little ridge i don't know if you can see that and obviously the blade cuts into it but what i found with these is that they just don't last very long i think these are aliexpress specials actually look if i try and cut that braid it bloody won't cut it Oh, I see oh it did it did but you don't want to be pissing about you know what I mean not when you're out there fishing anyway look actually that's flattened that flattened that that hasn't actually really cut it that's more me pulling it because I know damn well they don't cut anyway but having saying that I always take them with me because I didn't even cut it at all look that's absolute rubbish because what I found with it that's good good with these is like <clears throat> if you're standing in the water Obviously, you've got them hooked onto your uh, lure vest. They actually slot into the little thing on the front of mine. And you get, you've get you got your fish coming in. You Sometimes you just don't want to, you just want to get it off. If it's only hooked on with one treble, you know, I will hold the line and obviously hook it on the treble. Like, if I can show you here, if I'm not caught up on my bloody lure. Which I am. Fucking thing. Right. You know, like if it's just hooked on one treble, I'll just hold it like that and just unhook it, shake it off, and then the fish can go. You don't even get them out of the water half the time. It's not only if they're small ones, if they're bigger ones, then obviously you'd have to get your fingers underneath the gills or whatever and hold it the way you do. But anyway, that's them ones. They're only cheapos from AliExpress, but but they do serve other purposes i think the pliers are a bit easier on here for doing the the split rings not that i do mine very often as you can see my my it's mine you i've already changed these ones it took me bloody ages to be honest but that's uh that's the third one in the uh in the little set i mean i still take them even though them blade cutters are shit but i make sure i've got a good bear with me as well and the other ones 
So that's my three um, braid cutting tools now. But one thing I will say that when you are fishing, if you're, you know, you're out there and you're in the water and that, you've got to get one of these. You've got to get a Soku tool, mate. They are just, they just save you so much time. You don't want to be out there pissing around tying knots and all that. So I guarantee you get one of them. Sorry about some of my filming skills in the in the video. <laughs> this is all pretty new to me, but at the end of the day, tight lines, everyone. See you later.